This is a case that falls squarely on the need to protect the community. I referenced this earlier. There's really three primary reasons for the sentences I will impose here today. One is punishment, one is to protect the community, and the other is to provide justice and closure to the victims. Because under that category of need to protect, the court does get to consider the impact of these crimes on the victims. I went through at length in reviewing all of those victim impact statements. I certainly didn't go through every single one, just highlighting some of them, but doing so with purpose because it is very clear to this court that Mr. Brooks has caused carnage, mayhem. It has resulted in many people suffering from PTSD, from mental and emotional trauma that will take a lifetime to recover from, and for some perhaps, if at all. You have taken away from these individuals future memories. They will never have birthdays with the six individuals who were killed. There will be no weddings. There will be no graduations. There will be none of the milestones that these families were looking forward to, whether it be for a, an innocent eight-year-old or an innocent 79-year-old. Frankly, Mr. Brooks, no one is safe from you. This community can only be safe if you are behind bars for the rest of your life. The actions of Daryl Brooks demand punishment. The community is not safe from your violent and criminal conduct unless you are in custody. You left a path of destruction, chaos, death, injury, confusion, and panic as you drove seven or so blocks through the Christmas parade, never once stopping or seemingly caring about the wake of carnage that you left. Four of those blocks were turned into a scene that frankly is no different than a war zone. On counts one through six, this court is imposing a life sentence without the possibility or eligibility for extended supervision consecutive to one another. One life sentence for Virginia Sorensen. One life sentence for Leanna Owen. One life sentence for Tamara Durand. One life sentence for Jane Kulik. One life sentence for Bill Hospel. And one life sentence for Jackson Sparks. I've considered the enhancer and the additional five years that I could impose but I don't need to really order that because I've not made him eligible for extended supervision and it would only be to increase his time on initial confinement. But make no mistake, Mr. Brooks, you use that vehicle as a battering ram, no different than frankly a firearm. On counts 7 through 67, these are 61 counts of first degree recklessly endangering safety. These charges alone and these convictions without the enhancer carry a maximum of 12 and a half years. Because of the enhancer, a total of 17 and a half years. And under Wisconsin law, the five years is added to the initial term of confinement. So what could be seven and a half years 
is a maximum of 12 and a half years. And I'd ask that everyone no longer show any reaction to the sentence so I can get through this. On counts 7 through 67, on each count, I will impose a total sentence of 17 and a half years. 12 and a half years of initial confinement, plus five years of extended supervision, consecutive to any other sentence that I've imposed here today. That is 762 and a half years of initial confinement, and 305 years of extended supervision on top of the life sentences that I've imposed. That is 17 and a half years, sir, for Nicole White. 17 and a half years for Eleanor Andrews. Anders, excuse me. 17 and a half years for Sasha Catalan Castillo. 17 and a half years for Mora. Gilchrist. 17 and a half years for Justin Gullickson. 17 and a half years for Harry Gilfoy. 17 and a half years for Aiden Lofgren. 17 and a half years for Theo Maza. 17 and a half years for Tyler Pudliner. 17 and a half years for Connor Tank. 17 and a half years for Eric Teagues. 17 and a half years for Adelia Mafioli. 17 and a half years for Kelly Graybow. 17 and a half years for Josh Craner. 17 and a half years for Riley Rogers. 17 and a half years for Caden Rogers. 17 and a half years for Tucker Sparks. 17 and a half years for Isabella Bartlett. 17 and a half years for Yaritzi Becerra Montez. 17 and a half years for Samantha Coelho. 17 and a half years for Madison Hollingsworth. 17 and a half years for Mackenzie Hollingsworth. 17 and a half years for Mitchell Lampine. 17 and a half years for Kathleen Peelmeyer. 17 and a half years for Julia Schleichow. 17 and a half years for Olivia Stover. 17 and a half years for Jennifer Stover. 17 and a half years for Jessalyn Torres. 17 and a half years for Alice Urell. 17 and a half years for Charlotte Urell. 17 and a half years for Vivian Urell. 17 and a half years for Grayson Urell. 17 and a half years for Lola Hospel. 17 and a half years for Tamara Rosentreder. 17 and a half years for Betty Strang. 17 and a half years for Maria. Alvarez Dominguez. 17 and a half years for Gregoria Romelia Perez. 17 and a half years for Elliot Hallmark. 17 and a half years for Benjamin Hallmark. 17 and a half years for Patrick Heppy. 17 and a half years for Lori Locken. 17 and a half years for Marisol Lopez Gutierrez. 17 and a half years for Adair Lopez Rubelar. 17 and a half years for Juan Marquez. 17 and a half years for David Marquez. 17 and a half years for William Mitchell. 17 and a half years for Jason Petchloff. 17 and a half years for Margaret Pachulis. 17 and a half years for Yamalet. Perales Alvarez. 17 and a half years for Island Perales Alvarez. 17 and a half years for Ashley Perales Alvarez. 17 and a half years for Jose Perales Alvarez. 17 and a half years for Maria Perez. 17 and a half years for Camilla 
Perez Gonzalez. 17 and a half years for Isaac Foglia. 17 and a half years for Deborah Ramirez. 17 and a half years for Charles Green. 17 and a half years for Lily Green. 17 and a half years for Brinley Harris. 17 and a half years for Kelsey Knapp. 17 and a half years for Owen Brasciati. On count 68 through 73, which are the six counts of hit and run resulting in death. These are 25 year felonies each. The court will do the following. On count 68, a 25 year total sentence, 15 years of initial confinement, 10 years of extended supervision. This will be concurrent to count one. Count 69, the same sentence, 25 years total, 15 years of initial confinement, 10 years of extended supervision, concurrent to count six, to count two. Did I say that the right way, the first one? Okay, count 68 is concurrent to count one, count 69 is concurrent to count two. Count 70, 25 years total, 15 years of initial confinement, 10 years of extended supervision, concurrent to count three. Count 71, 25 years total, 15 years of initial confinement, 10 years of extended supervision, concurrent to count four. Count 72, 25 year total, 15 years of initial confinement, 10 years of extended supervision, concurrent to count five. And on count 73, a 25 year total sentence, 15 years of initial confinement, 10 years of extended supervision, concurrent to count six. On count 74 and 75, the two felony counts of bail jumping, the court is ordering a six year sentence total on each count, three years of initial confinement, three years of extended supervision, consecutive to all other counts, but concurrent with one another. And lastly, but certainly not least, the maximum sentence for the battery to De Erica Patterson, nine months consecutive to any other sentence. To order anything other than what I have done, sir, would be to unduly depreciate the seriousness of these offenses. Would, it is needed, although largely symbolic, given the number of years that I have imposed here today, because frankly, you deserve it. I know it's symbolic, but it needs to hold you accountable in a very real and tangible way. For all of these sentences that I have imposed, I will order the following conditions. No contact with the victims as identified in the amended victim key or their families. No contact of any kind with Erica Patterson. You are to pay restitution in the amount of $47,193.29 to EMC Insurance Company, that's on behalf of the Waukesha School District, and $124,220.65 to the Crime Victim Compensation Program. I'm ordering DNA surcharges on all counts. On counts one through 75, it's $250. On count 76, it's $200. Those are mandatory under the law. I'm also imposing the domestic abuse surcharge on count 76 of $100. I'm also imposing all standard court costs on all counts. Although my primary emphasis is that restitution be paid before costs, surcharges, and fees, I will order that restitution costs and fees be paid out of prison money um, in other words, that all financial obligations shall be collected pursuant to statutory provisions as requested by the state. That's frankly a standard, it's customary, uh, but it will be in the judgment of conviction. And then pursuant to 949.165, I'll find that it is appropriate for this court to order an escrow account under 949.165 for payment of restitution costs, fees, surcharges, and even for costs associated with prior legal representation or future representation under the statute. Mr. Brooks has been convicted of a number of serious crimes for which this section is appropriate. I will order 360 days credit 
as to count one and count 68, only all other counts, zero days credit because of the consecutive nature of the sentences that I